Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of I the Dragon, Cruel and Beautiful, Rabbit Hole, King DL, Lauren Frey, and the upcoming Jaw the Dragon, not to mention the already published Grim and Clover. Ugh, I keep forgetting. So yeah, I just sat through the PlayStation State of Play, the PlayStation Direct as I call them, because they're basically just knockoffs of Nintendo Direct. It, it, it's June, it's E3 season, and uh, companies are still doing these uh, these showcases, trying to sell you on their consoles, even though there is absolutely no reason to buy any of them other than Nintendo Switch. And this state of play kind of uh, kind of proved it. The, the best game they showed was like a catwalking simulator. There, there was there was absolutely nothing of value. Like Final Fantasy 16, huge drop in quality than what we uh, what we're used to seeing. Uh, Street Fighter 6 doesn't look great. Uh, looks awful. I, I saw a lot. Street Fighter 6 seems to be the controversial pick, uh, the controversial game of that lineup actually, considering how many people uh, I saw bitching about like the simplified fighting mechanics. And uh, what else did they show? And above all, uh, I think the thing that affects me most directly is the Resident Evil 4 remake. And, uh, you know, speaking as someone who has just played through Resident Evil 4 literally last week, it was legit the last game I finished, uh, seeing this trailer, seeing it, seeing the, seeing the PlayStation logo, seeing this, like, mopey-looking Leon with, like, this dark aesthetic... Uh, just seeing the very little gameplay they show, the character redesigns, like seeing everything they did with this just screams cash grab to me. There is no enthusiasm going into this, I think, online or anywhere else. Like, uh, RE2 Remake was extremely overhyped uh, to begin with. People really downplayed the issues. 3 was a complete disaster, and 4 seems to be continuing that trend. In, in the case where, you know, 3 felt like it cut out a lot of content and, and didn't really have a lot to do with the original game, 4 seems to be going in an even more, even more extreme direction, in which a game that has not aged at all, you know, uh, the game that literally created the template for the modern third-person uh, shooting action, uh, action game, right? Like, the legendary RE4, one of the best games ever made, originally released exclusively on Nintendo hardware, is getting released on literally every other platform in existence other than Nintendo, with a complete change of direction, with no real respect to the source material, other than maybe the whole, like, cult-like aesthetic. Like, that's kind of what uh, the feeling I get from this, is that they're going to try and take RE4 more seriously this time, and, like, actually try converting it into, like, a proper horror game, when I, I don't think that's what they should be doing, honestly. Like, if they wanted to do that, they had every opportunity to do that with Resident Evil 8. And as it so happens, I have played Resident Evil 8, and I can tell you that Resident Evil 8 is pure garbage, and it is not worth playing. RE4 just screams just screams failure to me i don't think fans are going to be impressed i'm sure normies will pick it up and play it but i don't think it's going to have like the get the raving fanatical response that re2 remake had like re2 remake uh was declared uh one of the best remakes ever made by the fanboys and the shills i don't see that happening with with re4 remake already i'm seeing a lot of people like make out uh Point out some really, really interesting things about, about what we, uh, what little we've seen, and I think as we go further along and we we see more from the game and we uh, we get some more insights into like who's working on it and what the the game's actually going to be like, uh, I think more and more people will turn against it. I, I am not I'm not enthusiastic about the direction the game is taking. I haven't liked the last several Resident Evil games. And I've openly declared on this channel several times that uh, Resident Evil as an IP is dead. That, like, there's no going forward from here. There's no growth. There's no, like, spinoffs that can do. There's no remakes. There's nothing, all right? Same with Final Fantasy. Like, after Final Fantasy VII R, like, there's nothing they can do to salvage the brand. All they can do is just keep milking your nostalgia until, until people stop giving them money, which, uh, to be fair, might be never, right? Uh, we might legit see a situation in which... If The Last of Us Part Two didn't jump off the rails the way it did, people would still be giving money to Naughty Dog. People would still be supporting PlayStation exclusives. Unless RE4 Remake has the same kind of insane, ridiculous, like, subversive narrative to it, I don't see RE4 Remake really spawning the same kind of backlash 
I don't see like audiences like rejecting it. I don't see audiences like refusing to support it. And that is too bad because the game looks awful at this stage. And I have absolutely no intention of supporting it. And uh, also, uh, again, I mentioned this in passing, but this is uh, this is very important. Why is there no Nintendo Switch version? Where is where is Resident Evil on Switch? Where is RE Remake Two? Where is where is Remake Three? Where is where is Seven? Where is Eight? Like where where are these games? And don't tell me they can't run on Switch because they absolutely can. You are delusional if you think they can't. So yeah, with that in mind. Um, my complaints are essentially twofold. Uh, first and most importantly, the game is not getting a Nintendo release. And second of all, it is in no way faithful, a distant second, it is in no way faithful to the original game, the original iconic Nintendo exclusive Resident Evil 4. Uh, it's not going to, it's not going to recapture that feeling. And it's not really going to, uh, to retell the story in an engaging way. Like companies really need to understand that these reimaginings of classic video games simply don't work. Like, we don't want them. Uh, it just muddles the continuity. It just makes things confusing, and it, and it just destroys your brand. I expect this will be a major turning stone in how Resident Evil is viewed among gamers going forward. I expect a lot of people to be confused about what happens in this release.